Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about vintage skincare on a budget. So I have bought so much skincare over the last few years and I really want to go back and start using a lot of these vintage brands that have been around for over 100 years, sometimes around 50, and I thought this would be a good idea to kind of review some of my favorite vintage skincare brands that are affordable and you can buy at the drugstore. So I've used these products on and off for, for a few years now, and they're all super affordable and available at the drugstore. So the first one on the list is Pond's Cold Cream, and this is kind of a no-brainer. They've been around since 1907, and it's kind of almost a cleanser and half a moisturizer and it is reportedly used by Marilyn Monroe and Jackie Kennedy. Apparently one Pond's cold cream is sold every 15 seconds and they also have Pond's face cream which I use too and I really love the vintage scent of these and you get quite a large amount in the jar so it lasts a while and they're both under ten dollars and I've been slightly debating if I should replace my vintage 1930s Pond's cold cream with a new version and rinse it out and take out the old stuff. I've been thinking about it but then I was worried about submerging it into water and worried that the label would peel off so let me know what you think I should do in the comments below. And next on the list is Vaseline and this has been around since the early 1870s. I mean I've used Vaseline for most of my life for different things. And the skincare benefits of Vaseline are highly debated. Marilyn Monroe used to wear Vaseline under her makeup to give her skin a nice dewy glow. And she had access to obviously the best skincare products in the world, but she relied on drugstore brands to keep her skin glowing, and this included Vaseline. And she loved putting it on under her makeup, and this would just give her that nice glow. And Marilyn Monroe said that she rubs her entire body down with Vaseline and then gets into a three hour hot bath every morning and that gives her skin a nice shiny glow. And you can also use Vaseline as a lip balm or under your eyes or you can mix it with your eyeshadow to kind of give you like an iridescent glow on your eyelids to give yourself that old Hollywood look. And again, Vaseline is super affordable. And another classic is Nivea Cream that's been around since 1911 and I love Nivea Cream and I'm obsessed with it. I have like jars of it all over my house. I use it to moisturize my hands, my feet, and I like to put it on my face as a thick mask at night, almost like a sleep mask. And Nivea all started with a butter churner. The butter churner that German pharmacists and a dermatologist used to combine water and oil with wax. And this is a emulsifying agent to create the world's first stable, Water and oil skin emulsion. Water and oil emulsions are the best way to tackle dry complexions as they moisturize while simultaneously creating a skin barrier. And I don't know, there's something about this Nivea cream that works so well for dry skin and I love the smell of it. And my skin never looked better when using it. And again, it's under $10. And the little blue aluminum pot, which made its entry in 1925. Before that, Nivea came in a yellow pot. And again, Marilyn Monroe loved Nivea and would use it to moisturize. And next is Noxzema, and this one has been around since 1914. And it has that famous cobalt blue jar, which has been a staple in every family home for the last century. And it's considered to be a greaseless cold cream which soothes skin and acts as a mild pain reliever. And it was actually originally invented for soothing sunburns. And it is actually really good if you have a sunburn. I've used it before on my chest. And it's also supposed to help chapped and irritated skin to remove makeup and deep cleanse, keep wrinkles at bay, and treat acne. And it has a near religious following among generations of devotees and famous consumers that say it gets rid of eczema. And it's also really good on your feet. I put the, it on my feet as like a foot mask overnight and it really helps keep them moisturized or you can use it as a face mask if you kind of have acne. And next on the list is Smith's Rosebud Lip Balm. And this one has been around since 1892 and it was invented by the Rosebud Perfume Company. And this is a multi-purpose product for everything from chapped elbows to blemishes. And I love this one. I use it on my lips. As you can see, my tint is pretty much all gone. 
and it just works really nice as a lip balm. I had never thought to use it as a blemish spot treatment, but that's interesting. Let me know if you've tried that. And next on the list is Tyre's Witch Hazel Rose Water Toner, and this is another staple in my skincare routine. I use this one every day and I like it because it's alcohol free and it doesn't like irritate your skin and it doesn't dry it out. I love the rose infused smell and it really helps cleanse your skin without stripping the moisturizer and over drying it. And I really like the vintage kind of shabby chic bottle too. And another classic cleanser that I highly recommend for sensitive skin and this is Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser. And this one's dermatologist recommended. And it's a very simple formula. It's been around since 1947. So again, this one's vintage and it has been revived in the beauty industry as well. I know a lot of different movie stars use this one too. And again, it's super affordable under $10. And next on the list is the Dove Beauty Bar. I like getting the pink one because it looks super vintage and this has been around for over 50 years and it has a dermatologist recommended formula and a fourth of the bar is made up of a moisturizing cream. It is excellent at removing all traces of makeup and makes a great gentle cleanser for sensitive skin and in the 50s using a bar of soap was a way to cleanse your face so people would use the cold cream first to remove the makeup and then the bar of soap. And next is another classic that I love is the oil of Olay Beauty Fluid. Now it's just called Olay and this one originated in South Africa in 1952. In the early days this was really unique because it was a kind of in a pink liquid fluid instead of a cream and it was packaged in that heavy glass bottle and I have a vintage bottle that I love to look at too. I have considered transferring the new one to the vintage bottle but again I don't want to wreck the outside of the vintage bottle and I don't know if I want to dump out the original formula. I know it's probably not worth anything I'm just weird so I'm still debating it so let me know if you want to do that for a video. And it's supposed to replenish the skin for 48 hours from moisture. And the original pink beauty fluid has a hydrating moisturizing lotion since 1952. There's also the active hydrating face cream, which has been around since 1952 as well. And it has that beautiful pink petal color and that beautiful feminine scent that just reminds me of the 1950s, which I love. And then again, I have that vintage Olay jar, which I'm debating whether or not I should fill it. And I like both of these too, and I'm going to be using them in my daily beauty routine, and I have on and off, and they're just affordable and they work, and I'm trying to get my skincare budget down to a level that is just affordable, and I just like the idea of if I run out, it's not like I have to spend another $100 to get another face cream. And next on the list is the Jergens face cream, and this is an old one, it's been around since 1882, and the company was originally known as the Jergens Soap Company. And the face cream has been a classic since the 1950s and Elizabeth Taylor loved this face cream. And it doubles as a moisturizer and cleansing cream. I personally like it as the cleansing cream. But again, I love the pink color and it's like a massive tub. Like this thing would last you a year, it's so big. And another one is the Avon's Rich Moisture Face Cream. And this one has been around since the 40s, possibly earlier. And I noticed in some of my vintage catalogs, it dated back to the 40s and I have a vintage jar here. And I love the blue vintage jar. I just wish they made the new ones that pretty, but you can, still buy it in Canada except it has soy in it now. I just love how affordable it is. It's $5. It's a really good face cream. It really works. Keeps your skin moisturized and I'm debating again putting it in the vintage jar. At least this vintage Avon one has nothing in it and because it doesn't have a paper label on the outside it would be easy to transfer. I just love the look of the vintage jars versus the new ones. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video can inspire you to get some more affordable skincare. I mean, these formulas have been around for a very long time and they're still best sellers. So there's probably a good reason for that. So let me know if you use any of these products in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below and follow me on Instagram, Dahlia's in the Attic. And I also have a YouTube membership and with this membership, you get one bonus vlog a month. And this is kind of behind the scenes content that is not on my main channel. And you also get a bonus monthly live stream where you can ask me questions, we can hang out. I do vintage hauls on these live streams. And you also get 20% off Vintage Doll Cosmetics, my vintage inspired beauty brand, and a vintage inspired mirror with your first purchase. I'll link that below. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.